Hi there, my name is Francisco. I'm a community lead at GooLauncher.com. This is a WooCommerce uh, focused community. A lot of professionals and even beginners are joining to learn more about how to use WooCommerce and a lot of different plugins that can uh, work as an add-on to boost your sales and improve the experience that your customers uh, are uh, feeling when they go and do some shopping on your store. Probably you can learn tips, tricks, for your store or if you are, let's say, agency owner or freelancer building stores for other people, you are going to learn a few tools, a few plugins that can help you. Today, we are starting a few, uh, a series of review from plugins uh, related to WooCommerce from the company Barn2. So let's go and check the website. This is the website of Barn2 plugins. Here you can see the plugin that we are going to review today that is named FastCart. Now, the goal of this plugin is simplify the checkout process of your visitors. Now, uh, let's check a bit what this is all about. You can see here with that GIF what, what it's doing. For instance, you know, instead of going to the single product and start adding to the cart, then going to the checkout like regular WooCommerce flow, uh, people when click add to cart is right away loaded to the cart. They can go and do the checkout right away on the same page and done. That is seconds. So that's the goal of this plugin, simplify the process. You can see also the checkout available right there without going anywhere. And also it has a ton of options. We are going to check what are the options so we can take advantage and get the most of this plugin. The idea is uh, check first, what is the regular flow? Just a reminder of what, uh, about what is the regular flow of your, of our usual, WooCommerce store. So this is uh, the, the shop section of the Google Launcher community. If you haven't joined yet, of course, you can always come here to the homepage or click this button, join the community and you can join for free. Now let's go back to the shop to see what is the experience that usually WooCommerce offers when uh, someone is buying no, on, on our site. So let's say I want to buy this hat, click add to cart. For this case, I'm using Bloxy theme. You can find a link to learn more about Bloxy in the description below. Uh, so the goal here, no, uh, now you can have the option to view cart. So I'm going to the cart now. Then here I can manage quantity, remove. And then if I want to buy, usually I have to go and proceed with the checkouts option. You fill your data, etc., etc., and done. Okay, the idea is improve that flow. So these were one, two, three, four steps, right? <clears throat> so if we are able to simplify this, we can save a ton of time and hustle mostly for the, the people buying uh, in our store. So uh, once you go and buy this, you can then of course go to your account and download the plugins. So let's say I'm going to my Barn2 account. Also, I want to give a, a shout out you know, to the Barn2 guys. Uh, kindly, they uh, gave me access to all plugins, all their premium plugins, their free plugins available also in the repo. So we are able to explore all of them inside or we'll launch our community. So you go here, your account, then you go to downloads. As you can see, you can then, of course, uh, download and use what you need. Uh, support is amazing. Uh, the guys are replying to me like in seconds. <laughs> so. Uh, the, this one of, of uh, the advantages that you that you get with this premium plugin. Now, once you have downloaded and uploaded to your site, then you click activate. They have as well uh, a small wizard that you can go through or you can skip right away. Honestly, it's very simple and easy to use. So even without the wizard, no science behind it. Let's go and check now WooCommerce let's go to settings and we are going to have a new tab that uh, should be oh one second my yeah, plugin is there search for fast card Aha. activate perfect now we have it active and let's go to WooCommerce settings and now we should see a new tab fast card there you go this one the last one let's click there to understand what options are available and what we can do. So, okay, uh, uh, I have activated my license. My license. We have two options here. Now uh, we have a few options in the content. 
we can decide how this loads. Let's say like a flyout sidebar, uh, they name that side cart, or a centered pop-up just right in the middle of the page. The beautiful, really, my my personal preference preference is the side cart. It's like fast. It's like it feels like even attractive in terms of design. So let's explore this option first. Then there are a few options more. Auto open, no? Let's say uh, if someone has added a product to the cart, this thing can open right away. So it's like encouraging people to, hey, go, buy, pay, right? We can all, also decide to don't, don't use it, but that is the purpose. <laughs> then allow fa fast checkout, no? So this option, uh, Allow, the, allow people to keep the customer inside that sidebar doing the whole process right away, right there. And that is the beauty of this plugin. We are going to see the experience now. Then <clears throat> we have also the option to uh, skip the cart step. Let's say someone is adding a product uh, and what, what will be happening is the sidebar will be opening the cart with the summary of what that user has added to the cart. Let's see what I mean. So let me go to the store. Let me refresh because we have activated the plugin. And let's try to add to cart this mouse pad. Add to cart. There you go. So now you can see on the sidebar, you now we have products. We can apply coupon even right there. And then we can go to the next step, checkout right here. Let me click checkout. And then you can see, you know, all my details. I need to confirm my address and I can complete the order right here. There you go, easy as that. Now let's see uh, if we turn on to skip the cart. So let me go here and skip the cart and show the checkout immediately. Select it, then save. And let's go back to the store. And one is fully saved refresh again let's see the difference to understand exactly what what is happening so now I got uh, the yellow snack bag hat add to cart can you see the difference is now is the checkout right away and it's showing you what you have added and go for it so if uh, our products has no have no many options this is like kind of smart way to go. Now, if we have to like add more stuff or maybe we need a, spe a specific custom fields, maybe we should go for add to cart and then check out. Otherwise, if our products are like straightforward, we can go and skip the cart step. But that is like, of course, it depends of your use case and how you know, do you feel. Also, you can test it. Let's say keep a, no, like a week using skipping the, the card process and then testing with the card process to see which one which one is converting better now let's see what other options do we have then we can also use the centered pop-up let's see how that looks like save let's refresh the store again i'm not really a fan of this layout i love the sidebar <laughs> so let's try again uh, let me click the mouse pad and this is what is happening with the center pop-up so the checkout is right here still maybe no still useful but for me it's like not that impressive no like wow it's like there is no surprise the sidebar is like what right uh, is that feeling in my case my personal preference okay so this is the pop-up and you can follow the same checkout process right there now let's keep checking the options then uh, the cart, uh, we can decide what to show. You now in regards to like show product images, show product subtotals, show product prices, quantity, delete buttons, uh, coupons, order total, we can hide the coupon field, of course. Sometimes we won't do that. Uh, show shipping information, show cross sales, show keep shopping button, right? Then uh, they offer also a floating cart icon. So this is already available. Let me show you again. We haven't paid attention, but is this this one here? Now, if people click, it opens what you have in the settings, pop up or the sidebar. So this is the floating, the the floating cart. 
Let me go back in the settings to the sidebar. I really like that. Let's save. And now you can see the experience clicking the floating card and, and popping the sidebar. Okay. There are a lot of options to play, as you can see. So I was uh, I, I, I used a couple of hours just playing settings to see what works best. Now let's click here. And the checkout is right right here. Now, if you have the cart option enabled, instead of skip uh, right to the checkout, no, even you will see like all products loading here. So it's like the basket always at hand. Let's see more options. So the floating cart, also we are able to manage the position. So I'll move to the center for no, this uh, purpose of demo. Then Flying has an option to kind of replace the checkout page, like force and use uh, like the sidebar or the pop-up to do checkouts instead of the normal regular checkout page. We can also decide to do that, no? Replace pages and then we have replace cart page. No, instead of going to the cart page, we just slide no, the sidebar. And then if you want to replace the checkout page, wh whenever someone is trying to go to the checkout, no, they will get the, the sidebar open with the checkout loading right there. Also, you have uh, a few options in color for the cart icon. No, this is kind of the purple that we use uh, in our brand. Then let's save. And now you can see that the cart icon is right in the middle, middle, and then you can also put it at the top. Now, <clears throat> I want to uh, show you one uh, important detail. Uh, for instance, this one, autocomplete. Now, this plugin has integration with the Google API no, for uh, out address autocomplete. So if you want to uh, like in improve the customer experience while during the checkout, you can you know, in in insert your API. And once, once they started to type their address, they will see it there, click. That will save also a ton of friction during the checkout flow. And, and that's the goal of this plugin again. You know, like save you time, save you uh, mostly the, the speed up the process for your customers. Okay, and now there are a few things that we want to consider. In my case, I'm using the Bloxy theme. The Bloxy theme uh, has you know, uh, the future of Quick View. But what I have done uh, is uh, go to the customizer. This is the case of Bloxy theme. Probably you are using another theme for, for WooCommerce. So the idea is, you no, know, if your theme, let's say, doesn't include a quick view for WooCommerce products, you may want to check, you no, know, uh, this plugin that Barn2 recommend to use with the fast card. I will go and show you this one in the meantime. Uh, is this one Quick View Pro? No, this is the Quick View Pro, and uh, it it adds a Quick View button, no, to each product of your store. So it depends, let's say if your theme, this is the theme, the Bloxy theme, in case that your theme doesn't have a quick view option, if I go to product archive, uh, you can see that Bloxy theme inside the cart options include the quick view button. So for the sake of this demo, I have turned that off to show you what the quick view plugin does, okay? This is like a suggestions to to play together with the fast card. Let's do uh, let's let's understand what what that means. So let me close this because uh, it, it's already activated. Even uh, if you use only fast card, still okay. But this is the what happened. You can see when I do hover on the image, you can see a quick view. Now I reported this issue to the Barn2 uh, team. Now there is a bit of mis, uh, it's misaligned the the text. Probably they are going to add the patch in the next version, but it's uh, really easy to fix. It's not a big thing, right? So if you, if you click Quick View, you get this, right? So then you can pick your option, your size. Of course, you can see the whole gallery here, even with that, all information, right? Uh, and then if you click add to cart you get the card right away so again 
so people can see all the details on the same page with the quick view pro right so see all the details of the product right away and then if you decide to add to cart you get right away all products here and then go check out and as again uh, we saw before it remains everything is stay stays there and you can complete the process here it's really awesome and very easy to use and there is no big science uh, trying to do the setup that's probably the best part of this plugin it's uh, really well done so there is no need to like guess hey how this works what should you do how how that works no like turn on pick the, your options pick a color for the a card icon floating done you are good to go okay uh, if you have any questions about this plugin no the fast card plugin and the quick view pro uh, just leave it in the comments and i will be happy to reply no and if maybe i i'm not fully aware of the answer i will reach out the team to reply to you okay that's it guys uh, if you haven't yet i want to share an invite because we um as i said you know we are uh, running a series of uh, events like this and we are let me show you our events calendar so this is the events calendar inside the google launcher community for uh, starting today right today we did woocommerce fastcart and then every week we are going to be reviewing you now for instance le, uh, the quick view pro woocommerce lead time woocommerce wholesale pro WooCommerce multiple email recipients, WooCommerce discontinued products, right? So that's the goal. Uh, we are going to review what uh, every one of them is doing. Also, if you want to buy, no, a uh, barn two plugins like the fast cart, no, that is the, the plugin that we were uh, showcasing today, you can use 10 Google Launcher, the code 10, Google Launcher and you can get 10% off uh, in, during the purchase of any of the Barn2 plugins. So you can use the code 10 Google Launcher. Uh, I will write that also in the description. And then you can buy any of the plugins with 10% discount. Okay? Uh, okay, that's it. So I'm really excited to start doing these uh, plugin reviews. I'm sure you know, for more than a few of you, it will be very useful uh, and again, you are warm welcome to join the Google Launcher community. We are right now, today, uh, around 270 members. No, we haven't done any big marketing campaigns or, or nothing similar. So it's all uh, growing organically. Uh, and these videos are especially uh, to, to reach that, that idea, to, to invite more people so you can see the value that we have inside the community. Again, my name is Francisco. I'm here just to help. See you in the next one. Bye bye.